Hey everyone, Chris White here with Austin Custom Brass, and today we're going to talk about the JP Rath Bass Trombone. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, as I said in the opening, we're talking about the JP Rath bass trombone. Um, now this particular instrument has a dual trigger um, and they are independent valves, meaning you can operate them independently in a dependent valve system um, in order for the second valve here to function, the first valve has to be pressed down. So um, with that, you're a little more limited on what you can do, but with an independent valve system, you can actually operate the second one on its own, just, just like the first one. Um, normal trombone, straight, with no, no F attachment or no trigger pushed down, is in pitched in B flat. That's the fundamental pitch of the instrument. You press the first trigger down, um, bass trombone, tenor trombone, doesn't matter, just about all of them are what, the reason we call them F attachments is because it then puts the instrument in the key of F. It lowers it down into the key of F. Um, the second trigger on here actually lowers the instrument down to G flat. And then when you press both of them together, it then puts the instrument in D. So you get all kinds of extra little options. Uh, one of the biggest advantages is that you can use the second trigger um, for certain notes that you wouldn't normally have uh, be able to, to navigate in, a, in an ease, more easily tunable way. For instance, low F, just below the bass clef staff, um, you have the option on a single trigger instrument of either doing that in uh, first position with the F attachment pressed down. Oftentimes that note's a little low to the pitch or a little dull, and so you have to kind of lift it up, which can be kind of a pain. Um, or you have to go all the way out to sixth position and play it that way, which, you know, can be a little precarious for tuning purposes. Having the independent valve system with that second valve, you can actually go out to kind of a, I found on, on this horn, it's kind of what I would call like a long second position. Um, but in that area, in the second-ish area, um, and be able to play low Fs that way, you can use something that's out from first position that's a little more tunable without having to go out to sixth all the way. Uh, both triggers pressed down, you can play low C's around fourth position, uh, once again adjusting for tuning. And then it allows you to also play low B naturals that you can't naturally hit um, on a single trigger instrument without either having to pull slides way out um, or without um, having to lip way down and kind of fake it. Um, but out in, out in kind of a long fifth position area with both triggers pressed down, you're able to play a true B natural on bass trombones that have uh, the dual triggers. So uh, this particular instrument has a gold brass bell. It's a nine and a half inch uh, size bell. Um, pretty common, pretty standard on bass trombones. Usually they seem to have either nine and a half or 10 inch bells. Um, it is a single bore slide. Um, so uh, five, six, two all the way through. And yeah, I'm gonna play a little bit of it for you so you can kind of hear it and um, just sort of show sort of showcase everything that it can do um it's a, has a great low range but also a, a nice mid and upper register as well um, i'm going to be demonstrating it on our acb size 2 trombone mouthpiece i encourage you to check out our acb line of mouthpieces um, the two is one of is the biggest bass trombone mouthpiece that we have so i wanted to kind of showcase that a little bit today because i'm playing on a bass trombone but check out our mouthpiece page as well. We have a whole chart um, and I did, uh, I've got a video up for that as well. Um, and you can see all the offerings. We offer everything from big bass bone mouthpieces, middle of the road tenor mouthpieces, all up to really small um, lead mouthpieces and everything. So definitely check them out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit and do a little playing for you. Thank you. 
All right, so that's it. The JP Rath bass trombone. Recap, nine and a half inch bell, gold brass. Um, standard, standard brass slide and standard brass everywhere else. Uh, independent, uh, standard rotors. So first trigger's in F, second's in G flat, and then you can press both to go into D. Um, lots of options. Check out our ACB mouthpieces, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much.